So imagine, just under the skin, there is a network, kind of like a fish net of fine tubules all over the body. And it's located just under the skin. There's actually three type of tubules. There's the arterial system, the venous system, and the lymph system. The arterial system and the venous system are a circular system. So the arteries leave the heart, carrying oxygen and nutrition to the cells. The cells are many factories producing energy, which allows for maintenance, growth, repair, and protection of the body. The waste products from this process are deposited in the tissues to be removed by the venous system and the lymph system. The venous system will remove approximately 90% of all the waste products, liquid and solid, and all small proteins. The lymph system's obligation is to remove the other 10% of the waste products left in the tissues and all large proteins. So the lymph system begins just under the skin and drains through very fine tubules, similar to silk threads and drains to four major areas. So it will drain to both armpits and both groins. From this point, three-fourths of the body, the left arm, left leg, and right leg, all will drain into the deep lymphatic system. And from there, drains into the cisterna chile which is located just below the diaphragm, runs through the thoracic duct, which runs right along the spine, and empties into the left subclavian vein up in the neck. The right arm is, has its own drainage system draining directly into the right subclavian vein. In the bloodstream, the, waste, the lymph waste products are eliminated through the kidney. So imagine that there's a block in the armpit, and this could be from the surgery itself and the removal of lymph nodes or radiation therapy. When that occurs, there is no way for the lump to drain out of the arm and into the bloodstream. So it's the fluids and the pro large proteins that cause the arm to become swollen and tight. The large proteins act like a magnet and pull in water. There can be as much as a fourth of a cup of water in the extremity before you ever start to feel anything. And some of the symptoms you may feel would be very vague, like tingling or numbness. As the fluid increases, there will be swelling. Your rings may be tight. The watches may be tight and there will be indenting of the tissue from pressure. And this can occur in part of the arm or the whole arm. The statistics vary in the literature. Approximately two to 3% of the people having sentinel node dissection with minimal nodes removed will develop lymphedema. 25 to 35% of the people having mastectomies or lumpectomy with axillary node dissection will develop lymphedema. In February 2011, there's new research out that's indicating that maybe axillary node dissection is not as necessary for people having tumors smaller than five centimeters or two inches.